Frances Hodgson Burnett was an American novelist and playwright best known for her three children's novels, The Secret Garden, A Little Princess, and Little Lord Fauntleroy. Born in Cheatham, Manchester, England on November 24, 1849, Frances was born into a well-to-do family where her father, an ironmonger, and his wife had a business selling ironmongery and brass goods. In 1852, Frances's father had a stroke and passed away. Her mother then worked full-time at the family business while Frances's grandmother would watch her and her siblings. From her grandmother who brought her books, Frances learned to love reading. It's here where she began scribbling short stories down into notebooks. Economic complications from the American Civil War caused Frances's mother to close the family business in 1865. Down on their luck after a series of unfortunate events, Francis's family moved to Knoxville, Tennessee to live with their uncle who was running a successful dry goods market. Unfortunately, history would repeat itself and her uncle's dry goods store lost much of its business and he was no longer able to provide for the newly arrived family. Her family would then spend the next few years living a destitute life in a small log cabin. Frances would turn to writing as a way to make money. Her first story was published in Godey's Ladies Book in 1868. The 18-year-old stories were known as pot boilers and were considered to be scintillating and riveting. By 1869, Frances was earning enough money to move her family into a better home in Knoxville and was supporting her siblings after their mother had passed away. In 1873, Frances would marry longtime friend and neighbor, Swan Burnett. The couple had two sons, Lionel, born in 1874, and Vivian, born in 1886. Unfortunately for Frances, hardships would continue to follow her. After publishing her first novel, That Lasso Lowry's, in 1877, Frances learned a difficult lesson about copyright laws, as she was unable to receive royalties from the British edition of the book. This would not deter Frances from continuing her work. She would release a novel in 1879, 1880, 1881, and 1883, as well as releasing a screenplay called Esmeralda in 1881. In 1886, she published Little Lord Fauntleroy, a story about a boy who lost his father and finds out he has a long-lost grandfather who is a member of the British aristocracy. Learning lessons from her previous copyright issues, she would sue a theatrical company for their production of Little Lord Fauntleroy. The courts sided with Francis, setting a precedent that all playwrights needed permission from the authors before using their work, or they would violate Britain's Copyright Act of 1842. As Frances's writings were becoming more and more popular, personal tragedies would begin to strike her. In 1890, her oldest son Lionel passed away of tuberculosis at the age of 16. The press then turned on her, criticizing her as a mother. In 1898, she would divorce Swan Burnett and marry Stephen Townsend. The press then criticized her relentlessly. She and Stephen divorced a mere two years later. Coping with the death of her son and her two failed marriages, Frances went on a spiritual journey studying spiritualism, theosophy, and Christian science. A common thread between these philosophies was healing powers. These healing powers would become a theme in her later works, The Little Princess, The Secret Garden, and The Lost Prince. At her estate in Plandome, Long Island, 
Frances had her own walled English garden filled with hollyhocks and roses. Her last book, In the Garden, was written while she was very ill and at the end of her life. Frances would die peacefully at her estate on October 29, 1924, at the age of 74. Although Frances is best remembered for the novel The Secret Garden, she wrote 55 novels, five of which became bestsellers and 13 of which were adapted to screenplays. Late in her life, she claimed to have never written a manuscript that had not been published. 